Hey, how's it going everyone? I uh, just wanted to go over my newly built Ninja Turtles arcade console, built with a Raspberry Pi and modeled after the Konami 4-player arcade cabinet control panel. Um, it's always been a dream to actually own the arcade, but uh, since the arcade machine is way too big to fit in my house, the next best thing would just to create the control panel. Um, so that way I can connect it to any TV and um, Whenever friends come over, we can still play a four-player game. So, um, so yeah. Um, the control panel artwork is from Game On Graphics. Um, I used them in the past for my Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet. Um, I like their work, so I went with them again. Um, it's uh, scratch resistant, so uh, no need for Lexan or plexiglass over top. Um, Looks really nice. Um, the the original Konami cabinet actually had black T molding, but I went with green because um, I just think it makes it pop. I like the way it looks. Um, and the way that the four player cabinet works is that there is no start button. Um, you choose your player based on the coin slot. So if you wanted to play Michelangelo, you'd put a quarter in the coin slot that corresponds to him and then you would start playing with them. Um, so, to get around having coin slots, I actually put buttons on the very front of the control panel. And these buttons are actually white. Um, and I wanted to, you know, kind of keep with the color theme. Uh, so, I kind of was brainstorming how to color the buttons and actually found uh, some stuff on Amazon it's a uh, cellophane that comes in a bundle with different colors, so uh, it kind of worked out. Just cut the cellophane to the shape of the button, put it inside the plastic, and then um, there's actually a 5-volt LED in each one of those buttons that glows whenever the console is turned on. Um, the joysticks are just cheapies from Amazon. Um, they all came stock red. But I wanted to, once again, keep with the color scheme, so um, FocusAttack.com actually sells the uh, Sanwa ball tops separate, so I ordered one for each color, and it turned out real nice. The buttons are from Paradise Arcade, and I've used them in the past for my Mortal Kombat cabinet, so I went with them again. So, yeah, um, the whole thing is completely cut to the to scale from the original cabinet. Um, I found the plans on a website like jackobud.com actually has all the dimensions so um, over the last couple weeks I you know cut down some three quarter inch MDF and slowly started building it and I've been on vacation this week so it's been a nice time just to pump it out and get everything set up Alright, and just like the official cabinet, I placed a, a hinge on the very front of the cabinet so the entire control panel uh, can actually flip up so you can get to all the internals. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. And for those who work with Raspberry Pis or created consoles with them, it's pretty straightforward. The Pi is right there. Um, panel mount power right there. And I actually cut the wires to a power strip and just mounted one on the inside so everything can be plugged into there. Um, all the buttons are actually being connected to an IPAC 4. Uh, awesome, awesome device. I have a JPEG for my arcade cabinet and it works really well. So once again, went with Ultimark again for that. Um, and just cheap computer speakers mounted left to right. I actually put speaker grills on the side there. Um, so all the sound comes out of there, but if you wanted to run the audio out of the Pi to the TV, you could easily switch that in the menu. Um, and then there's the coin buttons mounted to the front there. So I'll close that. And then we'll go ahead and turn her on and I'll show you how it works. And the buttons, it's kind of hard to see because they are pretty bright, but they do glow. The, 
the color of each turtle. And most people are probably wondering why Michelangelo is yellow, but that's because um, I believe that this arcade came out before the cartoon did, so um, the designers didn't actually have much to go on, so they just chose yellow. And here we go. Um, so right now, let me go ahead and turn this down a little bit. There is a rear volume control here as well. Um, so just a standard RetroPie menu. I got the four-player Ninja Turtles and Turtles in Time ROMs on there. Um, and then also, I did put all the Nintendo ones, um, which works perfectly because the Nintendo only has two buttons, a, a B and A and a D-pad, so I uh, decided to put those on there. Um, I don't know who would be crazy enough to try to beat the first Ninja Turtles game on an arcade stick. It's hard enough on the actual console. So go ahead and go back. And then all of the games, um, I scraped all the artwork in the video so there's a preview before the game starts. So let's go to Turtles in Time, my favorite one. I don't know if it's shown very well on the video, but I did enable the CRT scan line effect on there. Um, I just like the way it looks. It kind of gives it a CRT feel. And the good thing with that overlay, it actually doesn't consume any processing power, so it still runs just as well as if it wasn't on. So we'll go ahead and coin up. And then if I press the other coins, we can count up all the other turtles as well. Go ahead and skip that. Go ahead and get those guys going. So, sorry, I only have two hands here, so it kind of makes it difficult to play. But it plays just like the real thing. So I'm pretty happy with that. If you want to exit the game, um, you actually just hold uh, the player one coin button and hit jump, which is going to be very hard to do with one hand. There we go. And that'll take us back to the beginning. Um, for the Nintendo games, it took a little bit of time to figure it out, but um, I thought it would be kind of goofy if, you know, the first and second player was constrained to the left joystick so I found a way to actually make player one Michelangelo and player two player two Donatello and then the front buttons would actually be start select start select so we'll go ahead and go to the arcade game Let's hit start. And then, once again, it's just the Michelangelo is the first player, so a lot easier to sit in front of the console and play. And if you want to exit the Nintendo game, all you have to do is just hold start and select. And it kicks you back out to the menu. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Have a good one.